feel like you need to see yourself as a main character in life. Assign value instead of instead of defining yourself by the value someone else assigns to you. So my mom used to say this to me. So think of life as like a train and it's just going on and on and on. And the process of the train moving forward is the change that we're talking about. Look at my hair! It's new! Hmm. She be going through it. I don't know, what do you think? I don't care. <laughs> okay, anyways, her hair is short. That means she's already in 2021. Y'all are behind and over for everybody! Someone told me I look like a lesbian and that is the biggest compliment I've ever received. I've got my hair. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good step. Do you know self-discovery? I was supposed to go to the gym. I decided that today was gonna be cheat day. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So for today's video, I was thinking. I am gonna be reading out a few secret apologies that my followers have sent me on my Instagram. So I posted a picture the other day and I asked people to I put one of those question stickers and I was like um, write an apology that you've been meaning to give someone um, it doesn't have to be necessarily yours you can't speak for someone else because I'm not gonna be mentioning any of the names so all these all these apologies are gonna be anonymous I know who they are but you're not gonna know who they are and I even told them that they could like send it through their fake accounts like the Finsta accounts so I don't know if these are like real people either but these are like real apologies that I've received and I'm just gonna like give my opinion on it, I guess. Listen, I take psychology. I think I'm Therapy is expensive. So I'm gonna be try I'm gonna <laughs> If there's anyone taking psychology watching this video, please do not let anyone know that this is not okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be giving advice, I'm just gonna like share my opinion. And if you don't find your response in this video, it's probably because I had to cut it short. But I need you to know that I've replied to every single one of them. Every single apology that I've received on that sticker, I've replied to them and I've given my advice and my opinion to these people. So if I do leave out some of them in the video, it's not it's not insensitive of me at all because I did reply to each and every one in person so if you don't see yours in this video you know what I said to you not that anyone cares why so this is a story I posted and I did tell everyone that none of the names will be shared all of these are gonna be anonymous no one, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna know I just want to say that when I read some of these it was so heartbreaking because like I didn't know things like these existed like I not everything is like not everything has to do with like depression and anxiety and stuff and people ap apologizing to themselves a lot of these responses actually have to do with um, something that they've done to someone else that they feel really really bad about and let me tell you if you if you're one of those people who've typed an apology like that you are so brave because it did take a lot for you to admit that you were in the wrong and not a lot of people can do that that easy let alone share it with someone else so the first one is i want to say sorry to me for not treating myself right and to her i replied saying it's okay that at one point you didn't treat yourself right because you were still growing you were still trying to figure out who you are you like who you are as a person so in that process of growth you are going to make a few mistakes and those mistakes are probably going to be towards yourself and that's okay because it is still a part of the growth process because now you know exactly how not to treat yourself i mean i'm speaking from experience because i didn't treat myself right at one point you know it's like when you go through that process of being horrible to yourself when you come out of it and you realize how much you actually love yourself and how beautiful and amazing you are like when you come to that realization it's the most exhilarating feeling in the world if anything I feel like because at one point you didn't treat yourself right you've learned how to treat yourself better you need to experience the bad to know what's really good you get what i mean like you don't you wouldn't know you wouldn't know what good food is if you haven't tried bad food
You get what I mean? So you know what feeling good is because you felt really bad at one point. So that's, it's good, it's good. That's that's a sign of growth. That's my opinion on this. Um, listen, I am not authorized <laughs> to do any of these things. So if I am, if I do sound like I don't know what I'm saying, I'm so sorry. It's just, I'm just trying to help in the ways that I know. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so the next one is, okay, so this one says, there's one girl who wanted to be my friend so bad. I was so rude to her. I hope, I hope she's a lot better now. Okay, so one thing that I want everyone to remember is my number one rule in life is that if you live every day believing that everything happens for a reason, you wouldn't regret a single thing in your life. So that's something that I've learned pretty recently. And yeah, I'm only 19. I don't really have a lot of experience to say anything for that matter. But this is something that as of now, I do believe is something that a lot of people should live by. So this girl, the one that didn't let someone else be friends with her. Listen, there's a reason why you weren't friends with this person, you know? Trust your instincts. You weren't friends with her because you weren't meant to be friends with her. There wasn't something, you would be friends with someone that you connect with. If you didn't connect with her, there's no, you don't have to feel guilty about not being her friend. It's not necessary that you need to befriend anyone and everyone who wants to be your friend because I feel like when it comes to friendship, you really need that connection. But for me, I just like having a small group of very few people that I connect with. This person, this this girl that wanted to be your friend is not your friend because she wasn't meant to be your friend and I feel like it's the only way that I can put this without because I can't really assume much about your situation. I don't, you get, you get my point. Anyways, um, okay, so this one says, T. tea, <laughs> because this one says, for being the other woman who, she put it in quotes basically, apologies were made but it still feels black and I really want her forgiveness. Okay, so th this is tricky. This is really tricky, but I feel like again, just letting you know, I don't, I don't know much about your situation, but um, I'm assuming that the other woman, even though she would present you to an extent, I feel like in a way you both sort of like helped each other out because the other woman realized um, the person that was in between, you know, the common, the common factor over here is not right. <laughs> you know, can't be trusted, and I feel like you've learned that too in a way. And it's not it's like so in a way i think you've taught each other a lesson and if you really do feel like you owe her an apology i feel like you should you know write write her an apology if this was if this was the recent event but if, if it happened like years ago and it's still bothering you like you haven't apologized to her or something then i feel like you can still write to her because it would still feel nice to know that someone is sorry for something that they did to you i feel like it's like it's not just your fault it was also the guy's fault or whoever it is the common factor girl anyways next one okay so this one says i'm sorry that i unknowingly changed and put you through so much and forgot you needed forgot you needed to she just ended it there you said that you were sorry that you changed unknowingly and so let me tell you a psychological fact all right teenagers or people they would go exploring different identities exploring different values and sets of morals for themselves before they settle upon one identity and this would go on until they're like 19 between 19 to like 22, 23 years, I'm not sure, but it goes on for like the later years of your teenage life because up until then, you're still trying to figure things out. You're still trying to figure who you are. So in that process, there's gonna be a lot of change, a lot of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of change. And if you're still changing for the better and becoming the best version of yourself, that way change is good. Change is always good, you know? If you change for the better, it's always, always gonna be good. I don't think that's something that you need to apologize for, but I feel like, okay, think of, think of, so my mom used to say this to me. So think of life as like a train and it's just going on and on and on. And the process of the train moving forward is the change that we're talking about over here. During that process, there's gonna be a lot of like stops, like stations where people are gonna come in and people are gonna get off. So while your life, while you are changing for the better and you're going forward, some people are gonna come in, some people are gonna get off and that's how life has to go. In every passenger seat, one passenger is gonna sit there for a while, warm up the seat, you know, make it comfortable. When that passenger leaves and someone comes in, they're just gonna sit there more comfortably. They're gonna feel warm. Because you changed and in that process of change you ended up losing someone it, and if you're still with a person that who doesn't like that you changed for the better then i feel like you probably should you know 
Everything happens for a reason. Always, always believe that. Always trust that even if you're at the worst possible place in your life right now, you were meant to be there because that is just one step closer to where you're meant to be and where you're meant to be as in like the best possible situation for you. But you need to try, like you need to trust your instincts. You need to trust the process. You need to trust the things that the universe is in your favor. You need to trust that whatever it is that you believe in, even if you don't believe in it, even if you don't believe in anything, at least you believe in yourself. So by believing in yourself, you need to believe in your instincts and the decisions that you make and always do things with like good intentions and always like have a pure intent pure heart when you're doing things that's that next one okay so this person said i want to apologize to my friends who i ghosted for you um just like i said for the other girl who said who lost their friends because of change it's okay if you decide to let someone go for good reasons especially if you're changing or especially if you don't feel a connection anymore and that's a good enough reason for you to just stop whatever relationship it is i feel like like that's even better because you're just taking a break from social interaction plus i feel like if you if you're with a group of friends that you constantly need to be taking a break from you end up ghosting or they end up ghosting you i feel like that's how you know that it's not like the energy that you share between you guys is not it's not matched you get what i mean like you guys are not on the same wavelength i feel like it shouldn't be exhausting i feel like it should feel the opposite actually i say i feel like a lot but um i'm trying to get my point across anyways it's okay to let go of a few friends that are not on the same wavelength as you you because you have like another 40 50 years to your life and you don't want to constantly call these people your friends and feel drained every time you're hanging out with them so anyways moving on so this person said i wish i could apologize sincerely but after being done wrong i have no forgiveness left to offer them it makes me sick knowing that even holding on to some form of goodwill for them won't help apologies seem hard for me here but i'm sorry for not being enough to make you whole you are enough but again that's easier said than done because i know a lot of people are there thinking like oh my god i'm not enough i'm not enough i feel like that's a that's just one perspective the other perspective would be i am enough but for my life to feel more fulfilling i need to remove certain things that i feel like are not doing enough justice to me or are not bringing me enough happiness you know some people are just some people are not going to be the right energy that you need in your life so they wouldn't be enough to you you might not be the right energy in someone else's life so you might not be enough to them but at the end of the day since every single person has that one every single person has the right to see to say that someone is not worth their time and effort so that means that you have the right to decide your worth you assign value to things in your life because it's your life you're the main character and that applies to every single person around you every single person around you would be would be assigning value to things in their life and i feel like assign value instead of instead of defining yourself by the value someone else assigns to you you get what i mean so i feel like you need to see yourself as a main character in life and and get and give out value instead of letting yourself de be defined by what other people think you're worth you get what i mean i don't know if that made any sense but i really i really hope i really hope you understand anyways moving on next one this person said i'm sorry for not being worth it you probably deserve better maybe i deserve better too to this person the same thing that i just said applies to you as well but i noticed that you said that maybe i deserve better too that's good it's good that you see that this is how you know that this person understands that they have a very di different perspective on each other's values you get what i mean the next one says to my dog for accidentally stepping on a stale one <laughs> i'm sure your dog i'm sure your dog forgives you and also dogs have like 16 hour memory so he's gonna forget in like half a day <laughs> They know when it's a mistake and when you're actually trying to step on them on purpose. Okay, so there's another one that says, To my ex for staying in the relationship too long, even though I didn't love him. Sometimes people stay in relationships that they are not supposed to, simply because, one, because they're meant to, and two, the reason that they're meant to stay in that relationship is because when they get out of it, they're going to learn a lot. They're gonna learn exactly what they don't want in their next relationship. They, they're gonna learn exactly what to avoid the next time and i feel like in the future you know how to pick the right one you know how to when you take every bad experience in your life as a learning curve it pushes you forward it pushes you closer to having the best the best experience of your life moving on okay i'm gonna read one last one because this video was so long and i feel like i've only read like four or five of them but there's a shit ton of these okay there's a shit ton of responses eh, I 
This one says, I'm sorry to my ex best friend for not knowing the reason to why I treated her the way I did. If you do still feel really guilty about the way you treated your ex best friend, I feel like you still have an opportunity to apologize to her. It would still be a very, very brave, brave move from your side. So if you can, if you do have the time, I suggest that you write her a little bit of an apology, you know. But if the friendship is not what you want, if you don't want the friendship back, you can mention that and just mention that you're apologizing just so you can clean your sleep. Again, everything happens for a reason, so if this person is not in your life anymore, it's because maybe at that time they weren't meant to be in your life, or maybe this person wasn't meant to be in your life at all. That's pretty much it. I have read out every single one of them, but I really hope that you liked this video and I want to make more of these in the future because these are really something that I need to do once in a while because it helps me learn and it helps me help you. If I did in any way, I hope that you were able to take something good from this video. Because you and I both know that 90% of the content on my channel are of zero value. That's the value that I assign to my content. So, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Subscribe, subscribe, God. Like, nice. a lot of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed and that breaks my heart. My Instagram would be over here. Here. Okay, so I will I will see you in another video. <laughs> Bye.